Strongman Personal Finance. We got to do a little curb stomping of old meat smoker Kevin. Because once again, he has proven that he is a clown that screws his fans. Oh, he bent you over and he blew you so hard. Oh, he destroyed your butthole. Woo, baby. So the subject of this video is a follow-up to Kevin being a massive flip-flopping bussy and deciding to go short Tesla stock. Now, if y'all don't recall, for the past three years or more, Kevin's been, this, oh my God, Elon Musk, he's the future, he's Iron Man, wow, Optimus Slime, wow. All me Kevin has done has pumped Tesla. He's pumped Tesla more than he's pumped anything else in his entire life. And that says a lot, okay? All he's done is talk about how amazing Tesla is, and he's got, he's given the most insane price targets. Oh, Tesla's going to $800, wow! And it's just absolutely annoying. That's, um, that's the best term, I guess. Annoying! Now, Kevin, after pumping Tesla for all these years, what does this clown decide to do? Well, he decides to short Tesla. And you may be saying, well, Strongman, didn't you already make a video about this? Didn't you already talk about me, Kevin, shorting Tesla? I did, but I want to make a follow-up. Do you know what Kevin has done now after shorting Tesla? He closed his short after a day. One day, 24 hours. Meat Smoker has closed his Tesla short. So riddle me this. You guys watch this mother effer. You listen to him. But maybe you haven't paid for his course yet. Now, if you paid for his course, you would have known that he would have closed his Tesla short. But a lot of you haven't paid because you don't want to drop thousands of dollars on some real estate agent that, I'm never going to make a stock picking course. Wow! How that age there, bussy boy. Yeah, that's right. I, I exposed you. But if you haven't paid for his course, you wouldn't have known that he actually closed his Tesla short, and apparently he got a 50% game. Yeah, I'm sure you did, me, Kevin. You're such a freaking genius, before you pay tax, of course. But he only told his Discord, at least initially, that he closed his short. So if you were just watching his YouTube channel, because you like him, he's got a nice smile, he's got uh, his Pokemon crap, and he's got his uh, Charmander in the background, at least I think he still does, I don't watch him that much, and you love his economics insight, and you trust him. You trust him. You know, he's, he's smart. He's intelligent. He knows what he's doing. He's watching the markets. You don't have time. You work. He watches the markets. He's a genius. So you watch this mother effer and he goes, Oh my God, guys, guys, well, I saw this indicator and uh, it, it said uh, the reverse PE ratio is negative 5,000. And uh, it, that means it's short Tesla. Wow, stochastics. Wow. And he shorts Tesla. And you listen to this mother effer. And you say, well, if Kevin's shorting Tesla, after pumping it all these years, I guess, I guess I must maybe short or even sell Tesla. Because if, if if Kevin's freaking out, I must be I must be worried too. I should be concerned. And then the next day, he closes his short. <laughs> and you wouldn't have known. Do you see the problem with me, Kevin's uh, investing style? This mother effort does not have a long-term perspective. He is a gambling clown. And during clown markets, if you're a gambling clown, you're gonna look like a genius. Oh my God, my crypto went up in a vertical line. I'm so smart. You're gonna look like a freaking genius. You're gonna watch Kevin, you're gonna think he's so smart. Oh, he bought this stock and it went up in a vertical line. Oh, he bought that crypto and it vertical lined. Oh my God, he's got a private jet. He's so freaking smart. And then when the clown market ends, which it always does, it always does, you get blown the F out. Me, Kevin, is the epitome of short-term mindset. Long-term investors buy and hold. They buy and they hold, like your boy right here, daddy. Clowns like Kevin, they're, they're, they're so inundated with information and they rely on their, their instincts, their gut. And they, they just make rash decisions, like, suddenly turning on Tesla stock after all this time and then shorting it and then closing it the next day. What? This is the guy you're going to listen to? But you know what? He's got a private jet. He's got like eight kids now. He has a lot of freaking kids. Good God. 
Woo! He has outbred me. I need, maybe I should have more kids. I need to outbreed Kevin. It's going to be a tough road, but I can do it. And, you know, he's got real estate empire, apparently, and he's, he's a millionaire. And Oh, my God. He's such a freaking genius. Well, you know what? You know you should be listening to me. That's right, losers. You should be listening to me, your real daddy. Okay? Anyway, like, subscribe, lick my nuts, and you guys have a wonderful day. Cheers!